What's up, guys? It's your boy. Back with another, it's a matter of fact. Ugh. Let me mute my phone because my notifications have been going off all morning. But, uh, hey, if you're like on this episode, uh, what are you doing? Go to episode one, marathon this shit, man. <laughs> If you guys don't know who I am, I'm that guy that makes jokes and rants on the internet. And uh, Hey, did I mention I stream on Twitch? Boy, oh boy. Man, the, these... Life gives people like me so much material. So, you guys already know I have to start about work, right? And how it usually goes. I bitch about work for like 20, 30 minutes and I just go off on... Other dumb shit that's happening on on this earth. Cause God, I I I don't want to live on this planet anymore. I don't. I hate it. God. I mean, I kind of do. Cause you know, I was born here. And, you know, I don't want to go to Mars. The fuck, man! Send all the stu send the stupid people. Cause you know, a lot of people talk shit about like my generation. God damn, man, I'm seeing people that are older than me, and I'm like, fuck, are you sure you got the right generation you're talking shit about? Like, you know, a lot of times people, you know, say, like, you know, millennials are like, oh, you're stuck up, you don't know what the fuck you're doing, you're lazy. But god damn, the generation before us, and the generation before that, holy shit, you guys are fucking stupid. Not all of you, but a good lump sum that I've seen from, you know, the last ten years of my life working in customer service. Holy fucking shit. You might want to rethink and you know, redo an analysis, do a case that something. Because I truly think that is not correct. Hello, Simon. Yes, Simon, I'm doing a podcast. And whenever whenever he sees this mic, he's like, fuck, man, I got to get on the bed and sit next to you, man. I, I, wanna, I, wanna, I want the tea. The tea is spilling. Let me clean it up. But. Uh, let's see work i hate it <laughs> god I, can, I cannot wait till i fucking leave from that place this place is literally hell on earth when it comes down to stupidity so remember that theory i had i'm pretty sure i've talked about this plenty of times that uh, a place of business when any customer walks to a place of business their iq dropped by 75 percent um i can now confirm that it is now 85 percent and it is a fact now it is no longer a theory. Can we get it? Come on, guys, join in. Just round of applause. I've been working on this theory for like almost 10 years. It, it, it's now a fact. Congratulations to all the stupid fucking customers that come into my job. It is now a fact. Congrats. This, it, wouldn't be, it, wouldn't be, it wouldn't be a fact without you guys. So, good job. Now we just have to solve the theory of time travel, then we're good. <laughs> Let's see. So, I'm, because I, I even said this at work, is that uh, we need another area where uh, our pricing policy is posted. Because, you know, people don't pay attention to that big fucking sign that's right next, you know, right next to them when they walk in. Our, pri our pricing policy is posted right there, but I feel like it should be paced, like, maybe, like, behind the registers. Put it right there, that way we can point with a, ru with a ruler, since a lot of these customers want to act like fucking children. They should be treated like them. Say, see, our pricing policy here is stated that da 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 And, um, because this guy wanted to, uh, do an exchange on, it's like some Puma slippers or some shit. And he was like, hey, man, the, the ones I bought right here, they're, they're more, ex you know, they're, they're cheaper than the ones I want. Can I get it for this? No. He has a super thick accent, though. Let me. <laughs> Basically, what I've been doing lately, just as a side note, is that I've been using a Russian accent for anyone who has like a thick accent. Like no matter who it is, uh, like you know, uh, Asian, Hispanic, I, I just automatically just, I, I just do Russian for some reason. I'm like yes, my friend, yes, these two pumas, the puma slippers, the, they they are same, they, they are same pumas. 
I don't know why I think a Russian. I, think, I don't know why, but doing the Russian accent, it just makes it more fun. And then I feel like I'm. It, it makes me feel a little bit better that I'm like, you know, hey man, you're making fun of their accent. I'm like, and I'm like, no, no, that's the thing. The person wasn't Russian. So, I don't know why I've been doing that lately, but I feel like it, it's not as bad, you know, versus actually making fun of someone like of their actual accent. Just make up a complete different accent, and I feel like it cancels out. <laughs> Plus, you know, like, when it comes to, like, a lot of foreigners, they're, like, always, like, my buddy, my friend. They're, like, hey, my friend. But, yeah. But when uh, one of the cashiers called me over. And that's another thing I fucking hate is that, like, when the cashier calls me over, they're, like, hey, Matt. The customer would be, like, yeah, hey, Matt. Like, bro, first of all, I don't know you. All right? Relax. But, uh. Just for the, just for the sake of this being funny, let's pretend the guy's Russian, even though he wasn't Russian. So he got these puma shoes, and he's like, "Yes, my friend, these these, these pumas, they are, they they are same." And I look, and I'm like, "It's a completely different color and a completely different style. It's not exactly the same as it." But he's he's trying. His argument is, "Oh, they're the same brand, so they should cost the same." No, that's not how it is. It's kind of like uh, when you go grocery shopping and you see like you know a, a box of Frosted Flakes for like three dollars. You're like, "Holy shit, a box of Frosted Flakes, man, amazing, three dollars." But then you see the bigger size. It's a completely different style. It's the same brand. It's still a box of Frosted Flakes, but it's slightly bigger. And it's like three extra dollars. That's the argument that this guy's trying to make. He's like, no, I, I want a, the big box, but I want three dollars cheaper. You know? He's like, yes, no, why can I pay for this, sir? Like, John, please. No, they see the Pumas, they are the same size. They are see. They, they are the same. And I'm like, no, they're 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 not. That's our pricing policy. I'm like, a lot of times, the shoes will be the same brand, but if it's a different style or a different color, it's going to be priced differently. No, see, my no, see, my you do not understand. <laughs> I'm really exaggerating what he's saying, but he's like, no, listen, Matt, they, they are Pumas. This one is a Puma, and this one is Puma. They are the same. No, don't make me get. Hitman on you. <laughs> Don't make me get Hitman on you. I want same price for same Pumas. <sighs> oh my god. <laughs> no, you get me same price for Pumas or I get Hitman. Your choice. <laughs> oh, fuck. But, um... <laughs> But no, I was just like, hey, you know, I, like, yes, I understand they're the same brand, but they're they're two, they're completely different styles, dude. I'm not gonna give you a different price because, yeah. And before I walked away, he wanted to be a. I think I don't know if he was trying to be a smart ass, or if he's just fucking stupid. But he tried to be cute and fucking put both the slippers together to be like, see, look, they're the same. And I'm like. They're two different styles, dude. Like, the other one's got bumps and designs and shit on it. The ones that you're trying to return is just a plain fucking Puma slipper. No, fuck you. I was just like, get the fuck out of here. I was like, no, and I walked off. I was like, I ain't got time for that shit. Don't be stupid. Another thing that's really been happening recently, too, is that, um... Okay, picture this. Walk in the store. You look to your right. And there's all the registers. All right. We have twelve. We have twelve registers. All right. So in the back area, we have like little uh, a little make ticket area. You know, like if anything's brought up front and we do a price check for it, the customer doesn't want it. We gotta write down the numbers or whatever. Or if they do a return and it's missing a ticket, but we're able to look it up. You know, they write down the numbers and then you know they give it to me. And if I have any free time, you know, I'll go over to like that area. And, you know, where it has, like, some clothes hung up, and, you know, I'm, I'm making tickets. So I'm all the way down by, like, fucking, like, register 10. All right? All the cashiers are, like, on registers 1, 2, and 3. So you can imagine how big of a gap that is. For some strange fucking reason, when I, for I'm doing tickets, people always make a fucking beeline to me. Keep in mind, I'm not ringing anyone up. I have, like, my back turned. I'm not even near the register. I'm, like, like up against the wall making tickets and stuff and people come up to me put their stuff on the counter 
And they're like, oh, excuse me, bring my stuff up? Yeah. And I'm like, I, I point all the way down to, like, register to them. I'm like, oh, the cashiers are down there. Oh, oh, sorry, sorry. I'm like, no, like, I don't know if people are, like, that le legitimately dumb. Like, hey, do you see me taking customers? Do you hear me saying next and waving them over? No. Like, and I'm like, I know they see, I know they see those fucking people standing in line. It's even worse when there's a line, and it's like, and like, don't come up to me, go on the fucking line, dumbass. You see where, where all those people are standing? Yeah, go over there. Fucked hard. I feel bad because, um, we have a little security pod podium by the, uh, by the doors. So, like, when a security guy's standing there, someone comes up to him, he's like, hey, I can return here, right? And, and he's like, no, the fucking line's over there. Like, the fuck? <laughs> like, did you see a register right there? Like, people are fucking stupid. And it's, and it's like, all of our stores, it's, I think there's, like, maybe one location that isn't the same. But some of the other stores have, like, a queuing area and, like, you know, where the line starts. So it's like, if you've been to, like, one of those, you go in the exact same fucking places you would do a return. Dummy. There's not, it, this isn't Walmart where the return area is like in a completely separate area of the store. Like, fucking stupid. You, no, you go in the same fucking line where you bought your shit. Like, that's so fucking annoying. Like, I can understand if I'm like facing the register and I'm on it because I'm trying to look something up. Then I can understand, like, in some type of way, you'd be like, oh, he must be ringing people, even though you obviously don't see anyone fucking in front of me. You see everyone at registers one, two, and three. But still, like, if I'm up against the wall, because uh, a lot of times we look up our prices with a little, uh, with like a little gun thing, with like a computer screen on it. So if I'm up against the wall, not even close to the registers, typing on the little uh, gun computer... What makes you think, oh, he must be taking customers. He must be, like, you know, doing returns or, or purchases. No! Don't be stupid! And I don't know what else is going on with work. I mean, I feel like I'm working way fucking harder than I actually should. Because I feel like, uh, I'm trying to think. Like, three weeks straight, I've been fucking ringing way more than I fucking should. And it's like, you know, I'm a supervisor. I'm not a fucking cashier. Like, I don't know what they're doing. I'm really starting to believe that, like, they're fucking holding up money. Because I had a co-worker tell me, like, oh, yeah, that, that, that can happen to any business. You know, big boss gets paid, you know, some money. They cut down labor and meet still meet expectations and shit. Which doesn't surprise me at all. I'm really starting to believe that's actually true now. Because, like, more, the more, as, as more time goes on, I feel like we're having less and less fucking people working. You know, like, when I first started this job almost damn near four years ago, never had to call for backup. Never had to ring. I used to go inside of the queuing area uh, two or three times a week. To fix the tech area. Like, take everything off, and then put everything back up, all reorganized and nice. I haven't done that in almost a fucking year. Because of how, like, because of, we don't have any fucking cashiers. Almost every night I've worked the past three weeks, where I've closed, I've only had one fucking cashier. And it, it'd be around the worst fucking time. Like, it'd be, like, around, like, 5 o'clock. And I'm, like, like between 5 to 10.30. One cashier. And I'm, like, why would they fucking do that? Because, when was it? It was Thursday. In the morning, I had, like, three cashiers before noon. And I'm, like, we're fucking slow. I don't need three cashiers in the fucking morning. I mean, sometimes, yeah, I mean, if it's like a Friday or like a Thursday, probably. But like, you know, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, you know, un unless there's like a big holiday or something coming up. I don't fucking need three cashiers in the morning. It's slow as fuck. We're sta they're standing around looking like idiots. So when the three fucking cashiers gone, you stuck me with one cashier between 4.30 and like, well, I left at 6.00. So, like, it was, like, between 4.30 and 6 o'clock. I had one fucking cashier. And I'm like, 
4 30 5 o'clock that's when people are getting off work and shit like people are getting off work going to go shop and all that lines going out of queuing one cashier i mean fuck i know we're not making any i mean I, we haven't really been hitting our sales goal quote unquote and but you know i'm not the best mathematician in the world but fuck, man, we gotta have some type of money where you can have at least two cashiers closing with me. I'm still waiting for the day where I only have one cashier and the front looks like shit. And they're like, hey, Matt, what happened last night? I'll be like, I don't know. You guys do the fucking schedule, you ask me. You know? It's just fuck. And then I'm stuck fucking ringing. And I'm like, I fucking... I'm a, I'm a supervisor for a reason. Not to ring. But it's like I have to ring. Because the line's too fucking long. And for some reason I've been uh, printing out the uh, cashier's uh, scores. Because the uh, the registers keep track of you know their, their speed of checkout. And all the cashier's speed of checkout is shit. Like the, the average is supposed to be 5%. Everyone's like fucking negative 13%, negative 25%, negative 30% for their speed of checkout. I'm like, what the fuck? My speed of checkout's positive 9. It was like 9.40 something. There's like one cashier that stays in the positive the whole time. And that cashier's like four, like positive 14 point something. But like, you know, now they... You know, they put the cashier's names on the board for, like, you know, fastest speed of checkout. My fucking name is on there. I'm a supervisor. I'm not supposed to be on that damn board. A cashier is. But I ring so fucking quick. I don't know. It's just it's just irritating. The fucking... My store's falling apart. Because it was uh that day that I opened... um. The store manager closed, and like right before I left, I heard on the radio that um, store manager was asking people to stay till like fucking midnight because apparently the next day, that Friday, um, uh, the district manager was gonna come by, but the uh, they scheduled the full time CSS to like open at the crack of dawn for some reason, and. The uh, full-time CSS had to leave early for, like, a doctor's appointment or something. So they didn't have a CSS until... So it was, like, from 11 to 3, there was no front-end supervisor at all. So it was just the store manager. So by the time the district manager came in, normally uh, he would come in and then, you know, the store manager or whoever is the, you know, manager in charge, you know, they would walk to the store saying, yeah, we did this, we did this, we did this. But it was so fucking busy, the store manager was running around, going back up front, doing price checks, going to the floor, and all that. The district manager just came in, stood for five minutes, walked right back out. They had, like, five or six people stay for an extra hour. I heard one of them stay till, like, maybe 1 a.m. So, for like, for an extra one to two hours... Had people stay and clean up the store. District manager just walked in. Didn't even leave the front. Just stood by the door for like five minutes. Walked right back out because no one was up front to meet him. No one was there to walk with them. He's like, well, fuck him. No one's going to walk with me. You guys are busy. I'm out. Talk about a waste of fucking money. But this is fucking stores falling apart. We've already had like two people quit. Because one of my favorite managers quit. Morale's just fucking... Morale's done. So many fucking people have already talked about quitting. Because they're working too fucking much. They're working too hard. And they're like, fuck, I'm not getting paid to do this shit. And I feel bad because... A lot of times, because I don't have any cashiers, I gotta call the floor people up to fucking ring every two or three minutes. Because either the cashiers are too slow, or there's groups and groups of people. That's another thing I'm fucking noticing way more often now, for some strange reason, is that people are coming in in fucking groups now in the fucking line. Like, and it, I know a lot of like, well, Matt, summer vacation, you know, kids are out of school. No, this was before then. This happened fucking... 
what, uh, like April? Like mid-April, that's when these fucking groups of people just started showing up. And then, of course, a lot of times these fucking families that are coming in, they're splitting their transactions up 15 fucking ways. So that's holding up the line even more because instead of going to another register, the whole family groups together, goes to one register. So that alone takes like 15 fucking minutes. And it's... We're... I don't know. And this is an, another thing that the store does is that, like, when we get our surveys in and then, you know, a customer puts, like, you know, highly satisfied, and a lot of times they'll put a little comment of why they were or if they were unsatisfied, they would put a comment. Majority of the comments of why they were so unsatisfied when they came to the store was because, guess what, the fucking line. And I know corporate sees the, I would hope they would fucking see this, that all these, comp, like, complaints and it's like, it's going to get to the point to where district manager's going to hear from the higher ups and they're like, "Hey man, we're getting all these fucking surveys, you know. Hey, what what's your uh, what's your store manager doing down there? What are they doing? People are complaining. They don't want to buy shit now because they know the line's too long. Like the long line is going to affect the store eventually. And that's sad that I feel like a lot of time like when it comes to some of these managers, not all of them, but like we you know like one or two of them, they have to learn the fucking hard way. Because they live in a fantasy land where it's like, hey, yeah, you're working, uh, you're working in uh, Lenin's baby, the youth department, and men's tonight. You can do it. I believe in you. You know that management shit where they put pressure on you to make you think that you can do it? it it's a stereotypical thing. They fucking do it all the time. You know how many times they fucking told me, hey, Matt, you need to get this done today. I don't get it done. They never fucking call me in the office. They're never like, hey, Matt, you was, why didn't you... No, they're just like, all right, man, have a good one. Like, they just do that fake pressure shit to make you fucking do it. And I, I'm not, and I tried to fucking tell them. I was like, it's just a stunt. You're not going to get in fucking trouble. Just tell them you can do what you do. If they, and if you can't fucking finish it, that's not your fault. You're one fucking person, you know? Because I know the store manager does that a lot. They're like, yeah, you can do it. We, are, we're, we're, we don't have that many people, but we can do it. No, we can't. Get out of this fantasy world. I don't know if you're doing this shit as, like, you know, a method of, like, trying to get us to work harder. But, like, we're already short staff. We're already working hard. Don't make us work, work fucking harder. Be smart. Don't be a retard. <laughs> Take that from somebody who slapped you hard. Like, I don't know. That's why I couldn't be a store manager. Corporate would be pissed with me. They'd be pissed with me, and I'd just come back, well, we're making money, so you can't say nothing. I don't know. It's just, within four years, that fucking, that fucking place has changed dramatically. It's just ridiculous. That's why I can't wait till I leave. Ah, that's delicious water. And I don't know why. I think it's because, like, me being older. But fuck, man, I don't have patience anymore. Being 29, man, I think my patience is gone. I can't wait till I'm 60. <laughs> I'm gonna be like that old lady on the boondocks who drives past Tom. She's like, you drive like an old bitch! That's going to be me. <laughs> I'm going to be old saying, you walking like an old man. <laughs> oh, my God. That's just, I don't fucking know. I, I don't have fucking patience for people anymore. And it's so fucking sad that it's gotten to that point. Because it's like, I don't know if it's my age or my disorder or a mixture of both. But fuck, man, I, I can I cannot stand when fucking families come to my register anymore. When I see, like, a group of, like, two people or more, or if it's, like, a husband and a wife or a boy and girlfriend, oh, my God, I fucking dread it. I'm like, here we fucking go. Cause, you know, usually, I because when was it? It had to be this week. I don't remember what day it was. But, you know, every now and then, I'll kind of, like, recognize someone, like, recognize a customer when they first come in. And then I'll see him like 20 minutes later. And then I'll see him like an, like an hour later. And then I'll see him like 30 minutes later. And then like maybe another 5 minutes later. And then I see him come up to the front. Keep track of all that time. Alright. 
then you know I had to ring that customer that I just talked about saying like you know I saw him like 30 minutes later 40 minutes later came up to my register held up a dress and inspected it for three minutes it felt like fucking forever but I'm like bitch you were in the store for like two three hours why are you just now saying is this gonna fit me we have a fucking fitting room I don't understand <laughs> sorry for everyone who's wearing headphones but I don't fucking understand like you were in the store the whole time we have a fucking fitting room why are you just now putting the dress up against you saying oh, it doesn't look good on me no the cops are coming <laughs> he's losing it arrest him it's like, we have a fitting room. We have mirrors in the store. Like, I think, like, each little section have, like, it has its own little mirror where you can, you know, okay, do I look good in this? Why the fuck are you waiting till you get up to the register where there's a long line of people waiting? Like, you're inconveniencing me and to them. You're holding me up because I got to sit there and look at you while you go, Ooh, I don't know if this fit me or not. Does this look good on me? And then they fucking, you know, I don't fucking know. It's just, like, I mean, I guess, I mean, my wife, because I told this to my wife, and she was like, oh, no, it's a woman thing, you know, they just want to make sure, but I'm like, but still, like, two or three hours? You did not once say, hey, let me go in the fitting room real quick. Like, I, you don't even have to try it on. Just post up on the mirror and put it up against you. But you've had that shit in your cart for, like, two hours. Once you get it to the register, now you want to fucking debate. It's stupid. I haven't debated if I wanted to, uh, if something would fit me or not since fucking prom. And that's because I was getting fitted for a suit. It's worse when it's a fucking guy. Because I had, you know, I had a heavyset dude fucking come in. And, uh, he had, a. I forgot what size he had. But it was like a size where I know he wouldn't fucking fit it. But uh, it was like him, I guess maybe his wife and daughter or some shit. And he was like, man, would this look good on me? Would this look good on me? He put up, it was, it was like, a, up like, um, a swim, like a swimming trunks or some shit. It was like a 5X and a 6X. He was like, man, I don't know which one would fit me. And I'm like, bro, you're fat as shit, pick one. Like he literally like took off his flip flops and actually put it on like over his shorts. And I'm like, bro, if you have a, if you're big, like, if you're fat as fuck, then get the 6X. <laughs> like. I know what size I am, like, instantly. Anything in an XL, I can fucking wear. Because, you know, like, I'm not fat, but I got, like, a dad husky bod going on. Like, I have, a, like, a beer gut a little bit. So, obviously, the way to go would be an XL. Instantly. Like, I don't even have to look. But fuck, dude, if, if you're, like, fat all around like a fucking planet, dude, get the biggest size. You don't even need to debate. If you're fat as fuck, you're fat as fuck. <laughs> like, oh, my God, that dude took fucking forever. It was, like, five minutes of him debating between these two sizes. And he tried on both of them. He's like, man, this, feel, this feels comfortable. Yeah, 6X feels comfortable. Like, bro, th buy them both, then. You're holding up the line. Like, dudes, I like, guys, I feel like there's no excuse for us. You have one shirt, you're like, huh, this size large doesn't fit me. Got some an XL. There you go. You're buying XL for the rest of the life, unless you lose weight. Like, if you're fat as fuck, it's an XL or bigger. If you're skinny as fuck, it's a large and lower. Like, what the fuck? I, I just don't have patience for these fucking people anymore, man. Like seriously, I'm I'm done with customer service. I'm fucking working at these hotels. Even if a rich like I'll take someone's fucking bags up, man. Cause guess what? That fucking rich snob could be a complete asshole to me. But guess what? They're gonna fucking tip me. Like put the, put these up, low life. Take my bags. Yes, sir. I got you. Hmm. Here's a hundred dollars. All right. 
At least I'm getting paid for your fucking attitude. I'm not getting paid for these people's fucking attitude. I'm not getting a tip out of it. Fuck. That's why I would never work in food. Because my wife has told me this too. Because uh, she works like uh, like in the food area at a hotel. And there's a, she said there's plenty of times where there's like a long fucking line. And once people get up to the register, then they want to fucking sit there and debate like, hey, should I get this? Should I get this? And it's like, that's why I can, oh my, I can only imagine working at McDonald's. Oh my God. Can I get a, <laughs> let me get a, oh my God, that would drive me fucking nuts. I'd be like, double cheeseburger, here you go. Fuck you. Have a good one. Next. Oh, I couldn't do it. That's why I would never work food. Because some people... Because I remember when I first moved out here, they're like, Man, you just might have to go for fast food. Never. Ever in my life. Because it's like, I work customer service at a fucking grocery store. And that was horrible. I can only imagine fast food would be twice as worse. But... Ugh... <sighs> The only, and I, I may have talked about this before, so please forgive me, but I don't understand. The only good thing I liked about working at Giant was the fact that, like, if friends or family, whoever, if it was a group of people together, they put their fucking money together, man. And just fucking, like, oh, what's the total? Uh, 187.74. Okay, here, here, give me $5. Give me $3. Here you go. Alright, you guys have a good one. Fuck, man, when there's a fucking family or friends together. Oh, my God. 18 different transactions for three things. Jesus. And I don't know which is worse. If it's family or... I don't know. Maybe sometimes it's... Because some of them are, like, foreigners, so it's like I don't know what they're talking about. But, like, there's a lot of times where someone, like, will take out their debit card and, like, a grandma or a mom or, you know, an older woman trying to shove the cash in front of them and shit and they're sitting there like like no 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 and fucking they're sitting there arguing about who pays for what and i'm just like oh my god put your money together here give me the 20 dollars, and i'll put the rest on your card like what the fuck because i had these three guys and i get told the same fucking question whenever we're busy you guys are normally busy around this day yeah dude it's fucking friday everyone got paid of course we're busy We walk, in this day and age, 2019, everyone practically walks around with a goddamn laptop in their hand, but ask the dumbest fucking questions on earth, and I don't understand it. Keep in mind, I am slightly retarded. I am not the smartest man on earth. I'm like average or like below average when it comes to the state of human race's intelligence. I don't even know what the fuck I said if that made sense or not. But in the entire human race, I know I'm e I'm at the borderline of below average and average. And some of these fucking people are older than me. Not by five, not by three, but by 10, 20 fucking years. Like you've lived 20 years before I even fucking existed. And you're asking dumber questions than me. You witnessed the birth of the internet just like I did. Like, what the fuck? If you want to know if a place is busy, look up the business on Google, scroll down past the phone number, it will show like a live bar of, and in case anyone's stupid out there and they do this shit, please listen to this part. It's a little bar thing that shows the hours, and it will show a little rating, like hot, like a little bar going up and down of how it's typically busy. Or estimate weight. Or estimate time that people usually spend in this business. It's a really great fucking tool. I use it all the time. They're like, hey honey, you want to go to Walmart? I'm like, hmm, it's Sunday. Good chance it might be busy because, you know, a lot of people, you know, going to church, they're getting food and stuff like that. Let me fucking pull it up on Google. Okay, between the hours of uh, 1 to 3 a.m., it's slow. Fuck it, let's go at 1.30. You know? It's... The world is at our fingertips, but we do not use it. 
I want to hold a conference and talk about this <laughs> with all the nations together <laughs> and say, listen, this is why we owe money to China. <laughs> oh my God. It's just, it's just so much. And it, it, and it infuriates me. And this and people should be like, oh, Matt, don't trip about it. But it's like, yeah, it's easy to say don't fucking trip about it. Because most likely you're one of those fucking people that piss me off all the time. <laughs> but it's it, it's different when you're like, hey, Matt, you know, don't worry about it. Brush it off. But, like, it's, it's easy to say it, but I deal with this shit every fucking day. Or every other day, man. If I have, like, three straight days off, oh, my God, hit the fucking reset button. I feel great when I go back to work. But if it's like consistent back-to-back work days, oh my god, that mentally takes a toll on me. So much stupidity. Oh my god. But um, <laughs> there's a new thing my wife brought up to me. Appar- apparently white people are uh, once again out of control. At least that's how she put it. She's like, oh, your people are at it again. I'm like, why? Do they, do they think to- uh, toast is lactose intolerant now or whatever the fuck? <laughs> like, I'm like, no, because... Because they brought up the thing about fuck. Well, the first thing about white people was like, oh, yeah, I don't wash my legs in the shower. First of all, you absolutely need to wash your legs in the shower because who wants to have a clean chest but dirty ass legs? That doesn't make sense to me. But now a new thing is, is that swimming in a pool is is the exact same as taking a shower. That is not the same thing. And I will be doing a rant about this. It's probably going to be out before this podcast is. So I figured I'd go ahead and talk about it. So I won't go in in depth as I would in the video, but yeah, uh, there's a reason why that they say like, Hey, you know, you don't have to take a full, like a full blown, like, you know, Hey, let me wash myself. I mean, even, even, I mean, if you've taken a shower that day already, then, you know, just rinse yourself off before you get in the pool. But if you've absolutely not shower, you know, they normally say like, Hey, you know, wash your ass before you get in the pool. And guess what you do when you get out, you take a shower again to get the chlorine and shit out of your hair and all that stuff. So, yeah, you're supposed to at least supposed to take showers in between you going in and out of a pool. Or at least rinse yourself when you're before you go in the pool if you've already showered already. So that makes zero sense to me because, yeah, chlorine cleans the water. It doesn't clean you. Like, like, oh, yeah, like if you have mud on your foot and you wiggle your foot around, yeah, that mud's going to come off because that's what the fuck water does. It, you know. It, I don't I don't know the scientific shit behind it, but yeah, you 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 put you know mud and water, it comes off your foot and it floats into the water. The water absorbs that shit from your skin, you know. But it you don't wash your ass in it, you know. Like yeah, it gets like this. I mean, like I'm, I'm pretty sure if I if my ha- if I have like a dirty fucking hand and I leave my hand in, in the pool for like you know an hour hour and a half, yeah, the surface of my skin is gonna be cleaned. But the germs and shit and all that are still going to be there. And now the chlorine's mixed in with it. That's fucking gross. It's not, I mean, I don't know. Maybe it's because some some white people in California seem like a ho- homeless person, you know, wash their ass in, in the beach because we've seen that. We had a homeless guy, uh, when was it? Was it, uh, damn, I don't remember part of California we were in. It was the one where the boardwalk was, the Ferris wheel and shit. I forgot which one that was. Oh, wait, no, that wasn't the one with the Ferris wheel. It was just the one with the boardwalk where it had, like, restaurants and shit. It wasn't the one with the Ferris wheel. But, yeah, we saw, like, a homeless person, like, you know, washing his hair in the beach. You know, dunked his head in the water, you know, rubbed, you know, rubbed shampoo or whatever he got out. But, 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 like, that's the beach. It's different. It's completely different water. You know, would you go to the beach and wash your ass? I feel like that's going to be the next debate, and I feel like it's going to be my fault because I brought it up. Like, if you wouldn't wash your, you know, if you wouldn't wash your ass in the beach, why would it make you think, like, oh, oh yeah, I'm clean because I was in the pool? No, it doesn't work that way. Too many different elements are <laughs> involved. No, that, that to me, that's, that's fucking stupid. Whoever thought that was a good idea and posted on Twitter, they they need to have their tw- Twitter account deleted. That dumb shit. That's stupid. Like, it, it's bad enough, you know, white people voted for Trump. 
Because, you know, he's out of his fucking mind. And, God, the... I don't want to get too political into this. I, you know, here at MTFM, we don't like to get really political, but he's fucking crazy as shit. He says crazy shit. And, yeah. I, I, I feel like I don't want to associate myself with white people anymore. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm, I'm, I'm so thankful that I earned my black card in high school. <laughs> But as a representative, I guess, I'm not really fully a representative of white people, but I will, I, will, I will say to everyone and to black Twitter, I would like to sincerely apologize for the for the dumb shit that we post on the web, on, on the internet, not just Twitter, but just on the web, on internet websites in general. I would like to for, uh, fully apologize. <laughs> All right, Matt, here's your plate. <laughs> you invited to the barbecue, man. Appreciate it, man. Thanks. Ugh, man. That pool thing's so fucking stupid. <clears throat> but, uh, we've got... Yeah, 4th of July coming up, man. It's July 1st, as of me recording this. So, I'm gonna enjoy my nice little, uh, staycation. That's what I planned on doing. Meet me and the waifu are planning on going to uh, the little resort thing. Because, man, thank God for that fucking discount to hotels, man. We wouldn't be able to do shit like this. But, yeah, we're going to enjoy the fireworks down by the lake. That's going to be super nice. Nice and romantic. You know, I told I was like, yeah, you know, there's a little beach area with, like, sand and shit. Fucking sit there, you know, eat some ice cream, you know, watch the fireworks. You know, super romantic, I don't know. It's nice. And then we do it. <laughs> fireworks will really be going off in the bedroom. <laughs> oh, man. It's just... It's been mostly work-related shit, man, because I've been working every day since fucking Thursday, man. I'm fucking... I'm tired. I'm fucking tired, because, like, I opened on Thursday, and I've been closing, like, all the other days. Like, it's only been four days, I think. Let me see. One, two, three... It's been five days. Holy fuck, man, I am tired. I'm fucking tired. Like, I can't work too many days back to back, man. You gotta give me, like, one or two days in between that. I can't fucking stand that shit. I hate it when I work too many days back to back. Like, <clears throat> between Sunday and Saturday, you know. Or it's not even that. It's that, like, you know, in the middle of the week, it'd be good. You know, like, I work Monday, Tuesday. They give me, like, Wednesday, Thursday, or Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. But it's the following week that fucks me up. So, like, I, I'm off, uh, let's just say I'm off. Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. I'm like, okay, Friday and Saturday. That next week, I'm working Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. And then I'm off Thursday and Friday. So, like, between uh, that uh, Friday and Wednesday, that's, like, what? How many fucking days? Because I'm, I'm bad. I got to look at a calendar. Let's see if I work that uh, Friday. So, let's see. That's one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, it's the five fucking days, dude. I gotta have a break in between those fucking days. I think it's just because of me personally and like the shit I have to put up with at work. I mean, I'm pretty sure if I was somewhere else, it'd probably be different. Fuck. I'm not gonna lie to you. I even talked to uh, Preach about this the other day. I fucking miss pushing carts. Because. <clears throat> or I would say back when, um,. When I first started pushing carts, because now you know they have a, uh, they have cart pushers. You know, do extra shit now. They have them, like sweep, clean up, bag. Back when I first started at Giant, when I was pushing carts, man, I didn't do any of that shit. I just fucking pushed carts. When all the carts were pushed in, I just fucking sat and chilled. But you know, then again, you guys have to remember, I was I've been there for five years, so a lot of the rules are gonna fucking change. So now it's like, oh yeah, if we don't have a, 
they call him a porter. I don't know why they would call him. That's a stupid name. Like, just call him a custodian. We have a custodian that worked there, but, like, they would still have you, like, fucking sweep and, and you know, shit like that. But to be honest, man, I would not I would not mind going back to fucking pushing carts. Fucking, it'd be better than doing with, dealing with the shit I gotta deal with. The only thing I gotta worry about is hitting someone's fucking car. And every now and then someone would be like, Why are there no fucking carts outside? That was annoying. Ugh. But as of since uh, last time, I don't think I've talked about Crunchyroll, man. I'm addicted to fucking Crunchyroll, dude. Because fucking, you know, man, shout out to fucking Twitch Prime. Hey, if you guys uh have a Twitch Prime account on Twitch, you that gives you uh, one free subscription. And you can subscribe for one month free each month to your favorite Twitch streamer. Twitch.tv slash Matt the Funny Man. Anyway. <laughs> But man, yeah, uh, Twitch gave like you know Twitch uh, Prime members the uh, the option to fuck man. I can't think straight. I'm on Twitter, so that's kind of why I'm distracted. Is that uh, they all they offered uh, people a free premium membership for Crunchyroll for free for 30 days? I don't even know when my fucking mi my free uh, membership is over because I feel like I've had it for like a fucking two months. But I think that was just based on like how many fucking shows I've watched. I'm trying to remember. I'll probably have to go to the website to see, man. I, would fu I fucking watched a shit ton of shows. So, I fucking... I made sure I used up that, uh... That free 30 days, man. Let me see. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I've knocked out 12 shows... The first show I um I finished was 23 days ago. So yeah, my my uh my membership is almost used up, but it's not that expensive. I think it's like like what seven dollars. I think. I think it's like seven dollars a month, and if so, that's not too bad. Oh, there's a new show. To the abandoned sacred beast. I can already tell that show looks good. I will cue it. Yeah, I've knocked out about 13 shows in about fucking, like, 12, 13 shows in about uh, a month. Because I, I tell you, man, I go through these shows a lot quicker with no fucking ads. Or, actually, no, that's about 11 shows, because one of the shows I finished, I still had ads at the time. So, technically, it was 11. <clears throat> so, I was watching uh, Ace Attorney. I watched the English dub version just to kind of get a... An idea of like what the fuck this show's about. Because I didn't know nothing about it except for like the game. OBJECTION! Yeah man, I'm fucking addicted to Crunchyroll, man. There's a lot of shit. Because like, before then, I was just like on YouTube all the time. And I feel like people don't upload as much as they used to on YouTube. Because we already know how broken YouTube is. But anyway. And, you know, a lot of times uh, Hulu doesn't really have like a lot of new shows. And, you know, Netflix, I can knock out a lot of fucking shows and movies, you know, if I'm off and I'm not doing anything. Or a lot of times, like, my wife watches them and then, you know, like, I watch, you know, whatever I couldn't finish. <clears throat> but, you know, Crunchyroll, I'm like, damn, I got something new. I still got a shit ton of shows I haven't even watched. My Hero Academia, uh, I need to fucking watch that because I'm... What was that? Have I ever watched that show? I don't think I have. Black Co Clover, I heard, was a good show. Goblin Slayer, I heard, was a good show. And those got a lot of episodes. I gotta fucking rewatch fucking Naruto because I haven't watched that in like 10 years. But I want to watch Dragon Ball Z Super because they have like all the episodes. <clears throat> but for some reason, I can't watch the, the, um, the subtitled version. I gotta watch the dub version. Maybe it's because like Goku sounds like a 15 year old kid. Versus like the dubbed version where he actually sounds like a grown fucking man. I don't know. Dragon Ball Z is super. I don't know. I, I, I can't fucking. I'm surprised Dragon Ball Z isn't on there. I don't know. Maybe they, have, maybe they have to make a deal with Funimation to get that show on there. Because you would think with like a show being that fucking popular. You would think they would have all the episodes. Or at least the subtitled version. I don't know. Maybe it's maybe it's just on like. Maybe they have a contract with like someone else. Like another like online uh subscription viewing thing maybe 
Yeah, man, get fucking Crunchyroll, man. If you guys, if you love anime, fuck, I'm trying to figure out if I can get a fucking sponsorship with their ass. <laughs> like, I'll fucking make a three minute video of like, hey, man, check out fucking Crunchyroll, man. You can watch a lot of stuff, man. Fucking, I'm super excited for Doctor Stone. I think that's what the show's called. Is it called Doctor Stone? I feel like I, now I gotta look it up. It's like Doctor Stone. It was Doctor something. Doctor Strange. Uh, no, nothing came up. Okay. Now it's going to bother me all day. all day. Hold on. Of course, Doctor Strange is the first thing that came up. I think it was called Doctor Stone. Fucking, no, I don't want, no, I don't want to look up where a doctor is near me. Fuck. Okay, yeah, it is Doctor Stone. That should look super good. I don't know what the fuck it's about, but it looks good. Usually if the cover and the uh, the little, uh, whatchamacallit, the little info thing about the show, if it looks interesting, I'll fucking watch it. Because, man, some of, these, some of these Japanese shows, man, they're fucking good. They, they know how to make you want to watch the next fucking episode. I feel like TV shows should fucking do this, like here in America, because, man, they know how to fucking make you... Now I understand why when they're like, uh... Hey, so, like this happened. This will happen in 15 more episodes. And I'm like, fuck, I gotta find out what happened. It's so good. That's why I fucking... Because I think One Piece is like the longest uh, running anime. Because they got like, what, like 600 episodes? And they're still making new episodes? Like, fuck, man. I, I was a little disappointed by a couple of the shows. Because I'm like, they kind of left like on a cliffhanger, kind of. Oh, uh, fuck. What was that one show? It was like a show about uh, quintuplets. And, like, uh, this guy trying to teach him because he wanted to help his fam uh, family, like, pay pay bills and shit. Because they're, like, uh, they're he was going to, like, lose... The they were going to lose their house. So he was like, uh, I'm, I'm going to teach students. And this one, like, billionaire was like, you te teach my kids and I'll give you a fuck ton of money for it. So, like, the show's just entirely, like... And he falls in love with, like... He has a crush, like, on one of them. They're all girls, by the way. <laughs> and they have, they have, like, different personalities. Because, you know, obviously, they would have, like... If it's, like, quintuplets, you know, they're not like, all gonna be the fucking same. And they kept hinting throughout the show, like... Oh, he, like, they showed, like, a, a future flashback, I guess. I don't know what you would call it. It was, like, a flashback to the future. Or whatever. And he was mar he was marrying one of them, and they kind of hinted every ep like every other episode like oh yeah don't forget he fucking marries one of them. But what the problem was is that in the future they all ended up looking the same, same hairstyle and everything. So in the last fucking episode, they they showed the wedding, but no one fucking none of the girls talked, and that's what fucked me up because I was like. Who the fuck did he marry? <laughs> There's like six, seven of them. Which one did he marry? And then they drove off and the show ended. And they're like, hey, thanks for watching. And I'm like, oh, they did the thing where it was like, oh, you the fans can pick who he wanted to marry. And I'm like, fuck! That's horrible. I mean, it's a good ending because it's like it leaves you with questions. Like... Oh, you know what? I think it was this. It's a good conversation starter, I guess, if for like anyone who watched the show. They'd be like, oh, I think he loved this person. That's why they got married. And they're like, no, they married this person because of this. You know? I mean, it was a good ending, but I didn't fucking like it. It was it was good and bad. You know, it was like one of those things where it was like, we leave it up to you, the viewers of, you know, you get your own interpretation of, like, you know, who he actually married. So, I mean, you know. Some people would think, like, oh, that's fucking lazy because they didn't want to think of an actual ending and they knew it would start an argument between fans. But at the same time, you know, it was like, you know, good but man they know how to make you watch the entire fucking series <laughs> so crunchyroll if you're uh listening to this uh yeah fucking hook your boy up i will sponsor the fuck out of you guys absolutely i'll be like <laughs> crunchyroll.com slash <laughs> but 
Nothing in my life personally has really been going on. I've started vlogging again. I need to do another one today. It's a little bit harder to make vlogs because now I have the podcast, so everything I fucking talk about is on here now for you guys to enjoy. No, and I'll, I'll vlog about certain stuff. I'll, I might purposely leave some stuff out, but I don't know. I like these. Uh, I like doing these podcasts. They're super fun. It's a good way of venting. They, I think these podcasts are like the only reason why I haven't lost my fucking mind yet. But man, being bald, I've been bald for like uh, almost two months now. But fuck, man, my hair does not want to give up. Like, I, that shit, I feel the prickles like the very next fucking morning. I will shave that night and I'll feel little prickles in the morning. And then the day after, I'll be like, oh fuck, it's growing back. Second day, it's like I just got a haircut. That's what I look like. Like, my hair does not want to accept it. <laughs> I might have to join the Dollar Shave Club or something. If I'm going to be shaving that fucking much. Ugh, sorry, guys. I'm congested. My hair just... I don't know. I had a... I almost had... Well, not a panic attack. But I was freaking out the uh, the other day. Because, uh... You know, like, you have, like, that feeling in your nose. Like, man, I got something stuck in my fucking nose. And you pick it. That's what I did. And as soon as I did... As soon as I picked, I was like, ah, fuck. Let me get a tissue. As soon as I grabbed the tissue, started wiping my finger off. Until I get up and, like, you know, like, wash my hands or whatever. A pool of fucking blood from my nose just came pouring out. Now, it's not like I picked a scab or anything. You know, when I, you know, when I picked my nose with the Kleenex and stuff, it didn't hurt. But just fucking, whoosh, like, someone turned the sink on high. Fucking just blow, and I'm like, oh, and I'm like, oh, fuck, I'm bleeding. Oh, 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 fuck, oh, fuck, you know, and I'm just like, oh my god, fuck, and I'm just grabbing Kleenex after Kleenex after Kleenex, because it's just fucking pouring out. <laughs> I'm like, am I dying? Am I, am I dying? Am I having a brain aneurysm? Like, <laughs> but I mean, I was, it was pretty warm, and normally if I get, like, too fucking hot, I will like, I have a random nosebleed, so I wouldn't be surprised at the fact that, like, when I, when, um, when I was cleaning my nose, that probably is what fucking triggered it. Or it was stopping it from fucking pouring out. So like once I like cleaned my nose, it was. Like, <laughs> I was fucking freaking out. I was just like, why am I bleeding so much? I was like, oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck, <laughs> fuck, 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 fuck. <laughs> but man, I've been streaming way more often. Man, I'm having a fucking blasty blast. I'm so glad I got that new fucking um. Adapter so I can stream Wii games. My Wii collection is looking really fucking good. It's looking really good, man. I'm playing Resident Evil 4 on stream uh, now, man. And now I see why a lot of people think that uh, Resident Evil 4 on the Wii is kind of almost the superior. Because, man, aiming with the Wii mode is way fucking better. Because <laughs> when you're playing, like, on Xbox or fucking GameCube or whatever other version you're playing, it's Leon's fucking hands just shaking it's like dude you're you're secret service like you're not a you're not a rookie cop anymore you should know how to fucking hold the gun properly he's just steady shaking and i'm like what the fuck but dude aiming with the wiimote way fucking easier and it's also probably because of um instead of even just having like a red dot sight when you're aiming you actually have like a cursor with the uh the red dot sight so i think that that too it's kind of like an easier way of getting headshots because man i'm getting a lot of headshots i want to match my hit ratio with uh with the wii version with the xbox for version i just want to see like i just want to compare data see like my range between holding a controller and holding a wiimote but nothing else has been really going on for the most part except fucking stupid ass fucking customers because God only knows, there's so many stupid people on this planet. I, I, I can't even begin to... I can't think of a word for it, but I, I can't stop and just think. It'll make my brain hurt. I'm worried I might die trying to think about it. It might make me dumb. Because <laughs> I'm just like, fuck, man. This job's making me lose my hair, lose my mind. <laughs> I tried letting my beard grow out, too. Because, you know, it's like, hey, you know, you're bald, grow a beard out. And, you know, I can grow a pretty fucking beard. Like, I can grow a homeless guy beard. 
like fucking Robin Williams from Jumanji type beard. But man, it was growing out too much, and I'm just like, man, this shit's hard to like fucking. I might just need a new razor set for like beards, just so I can like keep it trimmed down, because that shit was fucking hard. Because I trimmed like a little bit, with like with because a lot of my fucking guards went missing. And I don't know where they went, so I only have like one guard to where I trim it down. You know, pretty sh- uh, short. But at one point, like I had. To, it got to the point where I had to fucking comb it. And I'm like, is this what you're supposed to do? And I was like, yeah. What happens when you have like a really thick beard? You gotta like brush it and comb it. And I'm like, fuck, I don't want to do all that. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna rock like the full like fucking biker beard. Because I've seen beards like that. And I'm like, fuck, man, that's dedication you gotta fucking do. So I, I don't know. I might be just fine with, you know. It's not thin, but, you know, it's, it's just enough. I don't know. But I think that's about it for uh, this podcast because we talked about a lot. Mostly stupid fucking people. And I have to go to work today, so we'll see if I have to steal, uh, deal with any stupid people today. <laughs> I hope not. I really hope not. I hope t- today's a smooth day so that I can enjoy my fucking staycation. But um, hope you guys enjoyed listening. You know, feel free to click any of these links you see on the screen. You know, hey, if this is the first time listening to the podcast and you enjoy it, why don't you click the little link for the full playlist? You know, if you're driving, relax. You know, if my voice happens to relax you, which I doubt it would, you know, fucking just sit down and relax. It's a podcast. And, you know, hey, I'll see you guys in the next uh, in the next video. Have a good one. Love you.